This week, we expect to learn the details of the proposed state budget, and the Senate and House are set to take final votes on the proposal. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz live right now at the Legislative Building in Raleigh with what the budget will include. Could make a big difference for the pockets of a lot of people, Liz. Yeah, Bill and Randy, lawmakers have been going back and forth on this budget for months, and now Republicans are trying to pass it even without Governor Roy Cooper agreeing to it. Now, Republicans and the governor have been in talks about this, but they say they've reached a point where they don't think they're going to make any more progress. They're not releasing details yet, but the budget will include pay raises for state workers and teachers, as well as tax cuts. It will not expand Medicaid coverage, which Governor Cooper wants. It's not clear whether Cooper will sign or veto the budget. It really does show a lot of compromise on all sides, uh, folks meeting in the middle and, and getting to a place where most people are comfortable. And if we you know, give away all those that, that, that money for tax cuts, we don't have enough money for our kids in our school. Now, some Democrats told us they will vote for the budget to pass, saying it is long overdue. Live in Raleigh, Liz Ortiz, CBS 17 News. All right, Liz, thanks. We'll wait and see what happens.